try to look at something for 15 minutes and then close your eyes and try to recreate it. It's almost impossible. So imagine an entire city, an entire landscape city to be able to do that. It's always an incredible thing to watch an artist work, you know, um, and have the privilege of doing that. You know, we can all, we can all live with the result of what artists have done, but it's, you know, it's very rare to watch them in their creative moment and in such a public arena. I really just thought he should draw every city. I, and he should definitely draw Houston because uh, it's where I'm from. And I, and I love the city and I don't think that Houston gets uh, enough respect on the international stage as a great global city. Uh, you know, there's a certain kind of kind of energy that's definitely going into that, that piece, and the, that's the energy of the city. He's realizing his dream. I mean, his dream is to draw every single day, and he's able to do that, and he does it beautifully, and people flock to see him draw and to see his, his drawings. Stephen has an amazing capacity to take in data and what we did was we took him up in a helicopter for 25 minutes. He surveyed the panorama of Houston and he was able to completely memorize that panorama and then over the course of five days here at the Galleria, Stephen realized from memory, building by building, a drawing of the panorama of the city of Houston. It's a drawing that's three foot high by 12 foot long, an amazing feat. I think that a lot of people focus on his amazing talent to remember what he has seen. And clearly that is something that is not at all common and we all admire. But even more than that, I think Stephen is a tremendous artist. And the hand that he has in realizing his ink drawings is really superior and beautiful and people are drawn to I think both of those aspects. Stephen um, has found his strengths and built on that. Everybody has strengths. Everybody has things that they're not good at too, but that's okay. You don't have to be great at everything. Find what you're good at, practice it a lot, get really spectacular at it, and you can do amazing things. One lady actually told me, uh, just in terms of th this project, that it encouraged her to find her project, that she wanted, what she could bring to Houston. For an artist to allow you into their process um, is amazing. You know, most artists, as an artist myself, the process is ours. The final result is everyone else's. So to allow everyone into that process, which is the artist private little area. It's very gracious. He makes himself very vulnerable. Think about it. Do we ever, any of us, really do our creative things in, in front of a vast public that we don't even know? You are very, as an artist, very vulnerable and I think that it's an incredible gift to be able to watch something like that. And to watch him with that pen up close for hours on end, the dedication, I mean, the physical nature of it, you know, itself, was so, it was so overwhelming to me. I mean, most people can't sit for three minutes. I, I can't even fathom it. It's ridiculously amazing. The, the memory, uh, the expression, the grandiose size of it, it's all ridiculous. Uh, my first thoughts were, where's the picture that he's using to copy from? And, uh, you know, that was, and, I, and then I remembered the whole thing about him going up in a helicopter ride and doing it, you know, from memory. And that whole part is, is just, you know, crazy amazing. You know? People are drawn to Stephen, I think, because um, he brings out, uh, you know, just a dear quality that we're all drawn to.
I'm, I'm Stephen Wiltshire. I'm in um, Houston, Texas. I'm doing going to be the last final drawing of the panorama. And we're going to be completed and um, my gun and I'm very thrilled and I'm happy about it. The Houston is because it's, uh, Houston is a nice, nice, uh, big, big area. Um, what happens is um, um, I always uh, keep um, remember it to make sure remembers and um, and then uh, fun functioning in my my imagination to how it looks like of the scene of the phot photograph from taken by by a helicopter. And then, then um, some information about these places and um, uh, details of this uh, story buildings, which then uh, might uh, think of their names and um, are happening on an um, imagination to how it shows, and then see how it looks like it. Um, listen to the um, some of the uh, soul funk uh, classic soul music from the 60s, 70s and 80s, uh, some pop and uh, a bit of R&B and uh, uh, indies. Yeah, I love, I love to listen to the R&B and uh, 70s and 80s soul, disco and uh, Motown. Like, I'm gonna keep on drawing and keep doing it because it gives me a talent. means that I do the best I can and never stop. Thank you.